Today, we'll discuss some remarkable journeys of individuals who have undergone extraordinary physical and emotional transformations to overcome their extreme obesity and regain control of their lives. Christina Phillips When Christina first appeared on 600 Pound Life in 2014, she weighed 639 pounds and revealed that she had been housebound for over two years. The doctor advised her that she needed to lose 30 pounds in a month to be eligible for surgery. However, instead of losing weight, Christina gained 17 pounds during that time, offering a rather flimsy excuse. Instead of hoping that you lost 30 pounds, you gained 17 pounds. What happened there? Um, I think it's mainly fluid because I did good once I got back. Due to her weight gain, Christina was admitted to the hospital and isolated from her family. However, her mother and husband secretly brought her food, resulting in only a four pound weight loss over the next month. This setback made her transformation seem quite bleak. However, approximately four months after her initial visit to the doctor, Christina had started committing to the diet and achieved an impressive loss of 61 pounds, which qualified her for weight loss surgery. By the seventh month, Christina had shed an even more more remarkable amount, losing 120 pounds. This milestone offered her the opportunity to walk again, which greatly assisted her in further weight loss. By the 11th month, Christina reached a weight of 470 pounds, enabling her to go clothes shopping. By the time she reached 390 pounds, she could even drive herself to her own doctor's appointments. This marked the end of her appearance on the show, but not the end of her weight loss journey. While off camera, Christina took responsibility for her weight and created a Facebook page and an Instagram account. Just 12 months after her episode aired, she posted a photo showing that she had dropped an astounding 185 pounds, or 83 kilograms. Remarkably, Christina has managed to maintain this weight loss for over eight years. Paula Jones Paula Jones's surprising transformation on 600 Pound Life defied her initial portrayal on YouTube, where she gained attention for indulging in fast food after a lackluster gym session. Despite this, Paula's true determination to succeed on the show became evident. Starting at 539 pounds, she relied heavily on her children after her husband's weight-related death a year earlier. Fearing a similar fate, Paula sought help from Dr. Now. Initially, Paula struggled and gained 17 pounds instead of losing the required 30 pounds for surgery approval. Facing criticism for her excuses. I don't know exactly. I mean, I know my legs are filled up with fluid right now. However, she switched to a liquid diet and confronted the reality of her situation, successfully losing the necessary weight and qualifying for surgery. Even after having weight loss surgery, there are still some things that I will indulge in. Although Paula only lost 10 pounds post-surgery, partly due to her infamous McDonald's burrito incident, her commitment faltered temporarily. You only lost 10 pounds. What are you eating now? Mashed potatoes. There is no protein in mashed potatoes. No, there's not. Your weight loss has not been significant. Seeking a breakthrough before the show's conclusion, she turned to therapy, resulting in a significant mindset shift. Within three months, Paula achieved a remarkable weight loss of 180 pounds. I gotta say that right now my focus is probably better than it's ever been. Maintaining her motivation beyond the episode, two years later, she showcased her progress on Instagram with the hashtag My200PoundLife, sharing photos highlighting a two-thirds reduction in her body weight. This achievement earned her a return to the show for a Where Are They Now segment, where she revealed she weighed less than her daughter and had adopted permanent healthy habits. Diana Diana exemplified the importance of taking personal responsibility in long-term weight loss. Despite her initial weight of 620 pounds and the need for an ambulance to transport her. major effect of my weight that I didn't really think about until I was on this road trip is my inability to get in and out of the van, much less the hotel. Diana garnered admiration for her honesty and refusal to blame others, determined to meet the requirements for weight loss surgery. My expectation would be in one month you should be able to lose at least 50 pounds. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Diana achieved an impressive 44 pound reduction in the first month. You lost like uh, 44 pounds. I know, I'm absolutely thrilled. Although this fell short of surgery approval. So what I'm doing this month is I'm adding in exercise and I'm not really capable of doing a whole lot, but I found a seated exercise video that I'm doing. She persevered and shed an additional 64 pounds in the subsequent month, totaling an extraordinary 170 pounds, or 50 kilograms, prior to undergoing gastric bypass surgery. Following the surgery, Diana celebrated the ability to enter a car without assistance. Through therapy, she addressed the root causes of her overeating, leading to lasting changes in her habits. She weighed under 400 pounds and embraced regular gym visits, a significant mile 
milestone after a decade of inactivity. By the end of the episode, Diana reached 336 pounds, marking just the beginning of her transformation. A year later, TLC confirmed on Diana's Facebook page that she had surpassed expectations, weighing under 200 pounds. Her astounding progress made her virtually unrecognizable compared to her initial appearance on the show. Casey King Let's discuss Casey King, who has gained notoriety due to his dramatic transformation since appearing on the show. When Casey was introduced in early 2019, he weighed over 700 pounds, or 315 kilograms, and led an extremely inactive lifestyle. He was deeply disappointed with how his life had turned out. I never would have thought at 34 I'd be living with my father and I'd be have no job have no real money, and just be playing video games all day. Especially after a doctor warned him about his deteriorating health. We're at a critical stage here. Yeah. You're gonna die. To be eligible for weight loss surgery, Casey was required to lose a certain amount of weight, which caused a lot of family conflicts initially. However, Casey eventually made an effort and successfully shed 80 pounds, surpassing the required 60 pounds. This accomplishment allowed him to undergo weight loss surgery, and his weight dropped further to around 525 pounds within two weeks of the procedure. Although Casey's progress impressed his family, he remained determined to continue lowering his weight. As a result, he started his own YouTube channel to document his journey in each video, his face appeared thinner, and by October 2019, just 10 months after the show ended, he proudly announced that he had lost over 300 pounds. His remarkable weight loss helped him secure his first job in over a decade. We have a job now. We are essential. We are employed. We now work for the great company of Home Depot. By the end of 2020, Casey had reached a weight where he could comfortably wear a double XL t-shirt, weighing under 300 pounds. This achievement, combined with a popular post on Reddit, motivated Casey to strive for even greater weight loss. Justin McSwain when it comes to incredible transformations, Justin McSwain is a prime example. During his initial appearance on 600 Pound Life, Justin weighed a staggering 687 pounds and couldn't bear to look at himself in the mirror. He admitted that food was his only source of relief from the stress of life. So what I do to deal with that and make all that go away is I keep eating. Food keeps all the pain and misery away, so I never really stop. It's the only way I can deal with it all. Despite his pessimistic outlook, Justin made a firm decision to change his life. However, reaching Dr. Now's clinic was a significant challenge since he couldn't even fit into the rented car for the journey. Given two months to achieve substantial weight loss, Justin faced a daunting task. While he couldn't meet the target of losing 100 pounds in two months, I want to see 100 pounds weight loss in that time. And I wanted to start exercising for at least 30 minutes a day. He underwent a trial surgery after losing an impressive 92 pounds. The astonishing progress continued as he shed an additional 86 pounds while waiting for the actual surgery. However, this was just the beginning of his journey. Just a few months after the surgery, Justin's weight dropped to 395 pounds, earning him admiration from viewers and even amazing Dr. Now. That's excellent. You're doing great. At the conclusion of the episode, Justin weighed 350 pounds and celebrated his journey with a tattoo. It's worth noting that a picture of the tattoo near his fridge served as a constant reminder for him to continue pushing for further weight loss. While Justin didn't share specific weight numbers on Instagram, he posted photos months after the show, clearly showed he was maintaining his progress. In January, January 2021, Justin proudly demonstrated that he had successfully kept the weight off. He showcased his achievement by fitting his entire body in his old pants, a significant milestone. This accomplishment also provided him with the opportunity to meet Diana and Christina, whose stories were covered earlier. It was evident from the beginning that Justin was determined to lose weight, and he continued to demonstrate his unwavering commitment throughout his journey. That's all for now. Kindly hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.